Hey, it's Rika here. So today I'm gonna show you what I eat in a day video. I always talk about staying slim, staying healthy, staying fit, but I never actually show you what I eat in a day to stay healthy. So in the morning, right when I wake up, I like to drink a glass of water. For breakfast, I just like to start simple, so I'm just gonna have a smoothie bowl. You're gonna need a banana. This is totally optional, but you want cacao nibs. Of course, chia seeds. Some flax seeds. For a sweetener, I'm using organic coconut palm sugar. A handful of cashews. And almond milk. So you're just gonna put the almond milk in a blender, then chia seeds, flax seeds, then half of the banana. For added sweetness, I put in some pitted dates. So you just wanna blend it all up and then put it in a bowl. And my favorite part, designing my bowl. For the topping, I have a banana, some cashews, some cacao nibs, and a sprinkle of the coconut palm sugar. So for lunch, I am going to have what I've been having lately because I really like it, my meatless tacos. So you're gonna need tortillas. I'm using an organic gluten-free corn tortilla. For my meat, I'm using organic soy riso. For the salsa topping, you're gonna need an onion, cilantro, and tomatoes. I like to multitask, so while I'm heating up the tortilla in the pan, I'm just gonna cut up the ingredients for the salsa. You want to dice everything from the onions to the cilantro to the tomatoes. So you just want to put everything in the bowl and just mix it up. So now that I'm done with the salsa ingredients, I'm just going to take out the tortilla and start cooking the soy riso. So for the soy riso, it doesn't take that long to cook, maybe about 5 minutes. I'm just putting in cayenne pepper for a little extra spicy and that's about it. So now I'm just placing everything in the tortilla. So usually I get hungry between after lunch and before dinner so today I'm just gonna have guava, cashews and some dates. Lately guava has been in season and actually these guavas are from my dad's friend's backyard so I'm pretty sure they're organic. And there you have it, a midday snack. For dinner, I really like to eat light, so I usually just whip up some salad with a side of anything that I can come up with. And today, I am going to have a quinoa veggie burger. So I'm just cutting up onions and then some garlic with it, with carrots. The carrots, you want it to get diced, so what I can do for that is just put it in a blender and just keep pulsing it. If you have a blender or a food processor, either way works. So um, carrots and then some broccoli and then you just want it all diced up in there. And this is a new recipe for me. I've done veggie burgers but not with quinoa. And yeah, so I'm just gonna cook the vegetables first and then adding it to the quinoa. The quinoa I already cooked because I had used it in previous meals so this is just leftover. So I'm just putting it all together and then putting some spices and I've read to thicken up the veggie burger or any sauce that you want to thicken up. You can use arrowroot so that's what I'm using. So if you see the white powder that's putting in there then that, so that, that one is the arrowroot. 
so much to my dismay it didn't thicken up the burger but I tried to just make it circle or round in the pan which I just failed but I mean it turned out good so while I'm cooking the quinoa burger I'm just gonna make some potato wedges with red potatoes and then placing it in a parchment paper to bake I'm just gonna use some olive oil with salt and black pepper for taste so I'm just gonna mix everything in and placing it on the parchment paper I baked this for 375 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 to 20 minutes or until golden brown so while my potato wedges and my quinoa burger are cooking I am just gonna have some greens on the side I have a balsamic vinegar and some olive oil for the dressing and I'm putting in some pumpkin seeds I like to have greens at night because it's easier for digestion it's light for my stomach and I won't feel bloated or anything like that in the morning so it's really good and this way I get my daily dose of greens which if you are eating vegetarian style or any type of eating habits you would need greens every single day because it's really good for you high in protein and minerals and antioxidants anything good you get it from deep leafy greens so that's it that's my dinner salad potato wedges and quinoa patties so i hope you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this or for health beauty and life tips i'll see you next time bye for doing any type of exercise always do the right form for your safety